Hi, welcome to Wizzy Beat. We're doing something a little bit different today. We're talking about succulents. Um, there's been a growing craze with house plants and wanting to have more greenery in our homes. And in the summer, these will very happily grow outside and in fact, prefer it if you have the space. We're going to keep it very simple because I want everybody to be able to do this and not feel, oh, it's very technical or things like that. So the first thing we want to talk about is the kind of compost that they like to grow in. And they like a soil-based compost, a loam-based compost, not peat. Don't buy any compost that has peat in it, please. Also, you want to add extra grit, uh, vermiculite or perlite, or you can buy proprietary compost for cacti. Now, also, we want to keep things clean because of fungal growths and things like that. They will kill your cuttings very quickly. So, what we're going to do is look for clues on how your plant likes to grow. This will tell you how it wants to be propagated. Is it bushy with lots of leaves? Does it grow like a tree? This will give you the clues. Obviously all of them will come from seeds, leaf cuttings and things like that. But let's keep it simple today. You may have seen a lot of leaves for sale, leaf cuttings if you like. And once you get into understanding how your plant grows, you'll be able to do this yourself with confidence. And some plants are very obliging on how they can help you to do that. Because some of them, if you go knocking them or anything like that, a branch or a leaf will fall off and fall into the top of the pot and start to grow roots without you even noticing it's there. So we're going to look at how you would take a leaf cutting from a succulent. So let's have a look at this little chap for example. And what you need to do, I'm not going to go into technical names of plants and use Latin and things like that. We're going to keep it nice and simple. What we're going to do is go in close to the main stem of the plant and wiggle the leaf firmly from side to side, but gently removing it from the plant because what you're going to need is some of the main stem of the plant, the main stem to come with the leaf as opposed to ripping the leaf. So if you select your leaf and as I say you wiggle it from side to side you will find it will come off easily and then if you look you've got a neat end to your leaf, how it would fall off in nature if an animal brushed past it or things like that. So now this will seal over. You want to put it somewhere dry, out of direct sunlight, because you don't want to make your poor little leaf dry up. You want to keep it light and bright. And ideally, Take a few all together at the same time and put them on a moist bed of compost and I like to put some perlite on the top because they very readily seal and root at the same time in that situation and before you know it they will be rooting away very happily. And then that is the time to pot it up. Excuse the top of my head. You've got two options. 
you could put this little chap straight into a pot like this, into the middle, but it may rot. So I would suggest you put a number of them around the edge because it's much drier and they will be happier than sitting in a large amount of damp compost. So when I've done a few, they look a bit like this. I've got some house plants in there as well. We may do another film about those too if we do well. So that is leaf cuttings. My next little one is going to be, for example, this Aeonium. It is, it grows like a tree. It wants to be a great big tall plant. And it does have branches, but you can see it's a lot of stem. And as it grows, the leaves underneath all perish and um, dry up because it wants to be a tree. Now, this also will propagate very readily. And let me show you how it's done. For example, let's take this branch here. So take the leaves off. Now you could snap it anywhere. I would suggest not too far down from where the growing tip is. And what you do is you would just, it's very easy because we're keeping it simple today and snap it. So that is now removed and we're gonna just give it a cut. Now we need that to seal over and become a callus. And when it has done that, I will put it then into a pot. And this is one that I did probably three or four weeks ago. And I'm going to disturb it to show you. Look at that. Okay. How easy was that? And these can be very expensive when you want to have a whole uh, beautiful display of them. So do you cut but let that seal over. That will be when the roots will develop. So that's a stem cutting, a leaf cutting. Shall we do a division? This one is, common name is the mother-in-law's tongue. Now, textbook will tell you to take a leaf cutting, but going back to, oh, how does it grow? This is like wants to be a bush, like a rosette. So for me, the best way to do that would be division. If you want to do leaf cuttings, they need to go in a propagator and not everybody has a propagator. I did a film earlier about propagators. They are useful if you want to make a lot, a lot of plants. Well, for the process of today, we're going to do a division just to show you how easy it is. So you've got your plant and it takes a little bit of force because they're quite robust these. And when you take it out of the pot, a bit like mint and things like that, it will push to the outside and deform your pot or even break it eventually you'll see it has rosettes of plants. And this is my preferred way of propagating this, is just to be reasonably robust with it and snap that off. And you think, oh, golly gee. <laughs> but when you look, you've got a perfectly formed plant. So with this, it will go straight into a pot on its own because it's got a massive uh, root form already. So it will establish 
very easily indeed. So we pop it into the pot and then we will put our soil around it to the same level, yeah, and then it will grow away happily. What I would suggest is any cuttings or new plants, just keep them somewhere nice and bright and light, not massive heat and sun. Give it a chance to develop new roots for itself. Okay, so we've done leaf cuttings, division, and also stem cuttings. So this is an interesting one. This is a, a, a zigzag, a zigzag cactus. And when you look at it and you see it in the shops, you would be mistaken for thinking it's a succulent and it's a desirable plant. When you look at it more closely, you'll see it has little um, pins like a cactus does. So that's your clue. Going back to how does it grow? What's its behavior? Your clues are there. So this one, again, you can cut your leaf, you can divide, let it callous and then pop it into a little pot on the edge and it will grow away happily. What I found astonishing was a friend of mine has also taken cuttings from this cactus and put them in water and it will root. And that's another way of taking cuttings from your favourite plants and propagating. It couldn't be easier, so I hope you enjoy this film about succulents. <laughs>